I'm Jessica Gaddithin. This is your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with Mark Ronchetti. We are looking at a storm coming in our direction for tomorrow. Temperatures will drop and into the northwest. We'll start getting some snow during the day tomorrow and into southwestern Colorado. Very windy here in the metro with partly cloudy skies. A spot shower a possibility. Then the cold air really flows in for Thursday. That's our best chance to get a few snow showers in the valley and more accumulating snow in the northern mountains. A man shot by an APD officer nearly three weeks ago faced a judge today. 64-year-old Bobby Garcia was in court where he pleaded not guilty to aggravated assault on a peace officer last month. An APD officer pulled Garcia over near Montgomery in Washington because he was swerving and driving just five miles an hour. Police say Garcia got out and pointed a gun at Officer Pete Romero. APD and a witness say Garcia ignored Romero's repeated commands to put the gun down. Romero shot Garcia in the stomach. Garcia was recently released from the hospital and booked into MDC. In court today, the judge continued his $15,000 cash or surety bond. No alcohol while this case is pending if you're able to bond out and uh, no new arrest or else there will be a hold placed on you and you'll not be able to bond out of jail. APD says Garcia's weapon turned out to be a pellet gun. They also say he was under suspicion for child molestation and wanted police to kill him. Albuquerque police arrested a man for allegedly exposing himself to a woman at an Albuquerque store. It happened yesterday at the Big Lots on Manal near San Mateo. Police say they went to the store initially to serve 53-year-old Philip Medina with a trespass notification because he had been going to the store daily and would watch people making employees and customers uncomfortable. But when officers arrived, they say they found Medina standing behind a woman in an aisle with his genitals exposed. Medina was arrested and charged with indecent exposure. According to the criminal complaint, he has a history of exposing himself and that he owns a plumbing company out of his home. Join us for more news tonight at 10.